you need to recall actually you need to have a trace on the book of what is Filipino food mm. and uh, the methodology the product we you using and from the region where it's coming from and why they got this specific flavor that's very very important you need to have this heritage of cooking on the book mm. you know we have all the cuisine i believe in france we have some uh, books that you the those are the, the bibles of French cuisine mm. and everything in this book from that those are the foundation and you can go crazy you can put things the way you want and Susu is the specialist for that to, to, to put to do Frisian cuisine and he can explain very well what is philosophy and I like it very much but the, the thing we agree both of us is before anything else before going to those levels of creativity you need to have strong foundation and you need to have that on the book and the young generation need to know the heritage they need to learn the heritage heritage is huge I mean I, I, I couldn't say more about that you know I went through um, I probably grew up in Singapore at a time where it started to develop it was still rather undeveloped in many ways and it's just uh, so I was born in 1970, so the 70s, and I kind of consider myself as one of the few that experience the old and the new of Singapore. Like, in the 70s, things look very different to what it does now. And, but, you know, and you go through all this international influences, American food, you know, French food, all, all of that sort of style of food coming into Asia, um, Italian food and stuff. And then as I get older, I'm now going so much more back to my roots. <laughs> You know, what's, what was, what's authentic about Singaporean food? Much the same, the Filipinos will go, what's authentic about Filipino ingredients? You know, um, the way your grandma used to cook it, you know, um, mm. and get, get to the root and the crux of that and the national pride of behind, pushing behind that. That's all you need. And I think there are a lot of, uh, you know, um, writers haven't really discovered Filipino food yet. Mm. Because of that culture, it's so mixed. Sometimes it's very hard to really articulate it, what exactly what it is. And I think, uh, you know, it, it's about like you guys talk about the food and then we talked about it. I think it's so important to really, uh, to make the chef who works in the restaurant, being proud and being this profession is not just a, a greasy job. And you know, this is a job that, you know, can export to the world. And also, it's important that uh, you know, um, you know, food makes people happy. Mm. And at the same time, you know, the professional, the history, and all that, you know, go out there and, and tell the world about mm. it. And I think, um, I think I was discussing uh, with Bruno the other day. You know, I think Filipino food we've been experienced. We just loved it, and I think you just need to uh, to go out there to tell the world uh, what is Filipino food. Sinigang! Oh, that was so awesome. Of course, the barbecue pork. Lechon, you know, with the soya. Lechon. 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 Are you sure Lechon. Lechon. Hi guys, we're on our awesome planet. I'm Bruno Menal. I'm Audra Morris. I'm Susa Lee. We are the judges for MasterChef, so don't forget to watch MasterChef Asia. 3rd of September at 9 p.m. On Lifetime. On Lifetime. <laughs> 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 what, is, what is that again? Only on